Switch uh, inputs. We'll switch overlays for it. It does. Lovely. Bam. Overlay. Mario saves Pe Peach once again. A cliche? Yes. But it's fine. Made by Lamau. Is indeed made by Lamau. Change my title because that's an important thing to do. Otherwise, people might think there's a mole in space. It was rejected for a fairly straightforward reason, so I was gonna at least take a quick look at this one. Yet again, Peach has been kidnapped. And as always, you gotta go save her. Fair enough. Alright, Yellow Switch Palace. Got it. She's always getting kidnapped, or having a Tupperware party, or something. Oh, kidnapped. Well, kidnapped is what happens when uh, you're kidnapped by someone you know. It's kidnapped. Pretty sure that's how it works, at least. I'm turn down the volume just a little bit. Kidnapped. on this one, it's SMW Gamma, so things will work. At some point in time, I'm gonna, like, rig it up so various modules will have some control over the, uh, overlays. I feel like that'd be a smart move. Make it so I don't have to update things. Unless I want to. Or really just use the WebSocket thing to do overlays at all. Apps. <laughs> Knapsack. Well, knapsacking is its own class of problem. Due to NP completeness. Ooh, moon. I'm gonna guess I need to find a different secret to get up there. Not that moon, though. Dragon Coins. I don't think I've seen a Midway yet, though. Can I get over there? Maybe with P-Speed? A little bit of luck. Yeah, it's just a game. Okay, nothing interesting there. That Koopa is suspicious. Or maybe they all just go really high. There's no midway, is there? Okay. I am just not gonna worry about it. You have to way to go. Puddle Island? Two eyes. There's a gimmick here. Certain of it. I was one frame away from retirement. We go down the check mark. Dude is loving these slopes. Has Lamal made any other hacks? This definitely feels like a uh, a freshman. Freshman effort. Lovely. Very Mario 3 in a way. Reminds me of the uh, secret in 1 2. I could have done like a very vanilla hack like this. That took me past a lot of the level. Like a ridiculous amount of the level. And I did it again. At least I know where that is now. Alright. There's a reason I'm doing this. Actually, you know what? Oh, 
There's gotta be some up here. I was right. It was one of those level design, just gotta have something there, right? Yeah, you just gotta. Slides through there. Koopa slides through a wall. Notice that I pulled a color from SMW Central. Yeah, I did that a while ago. Um, it's not 100% one-to-one because of the background color. Because it's a sort of gray, it can look pretty washed out with some of the SMW colors. The normal SMW colors. Um, SMW Central colors. So I did tone them down a little bit for the default ones. But if I were to uh, play something by someone like, say, White Yoshi Egg or another uh, staff member, it would have a proper, the proper color they chose. But as it is. In fact, I guess for the last one, it probably would have shown off um, Nope Contest's red. But we didn't have that online right then. Did they go funky doing New Year? Yes. Um, I've had this feature for a while, I think. So during New Year and during um, Halloween, it gets weird. It uses the Halloween names because there's no reason not to. And everybody loves the Knuckles Chaotix port, including me. Is there a secret exit I missed? Or is this one of those, I'm going to show you the blocks before you have any chance of ever getting to use them? Which I'm not a huge fan of. Feels so very unnecessary. At least this hack is really gonna be quick and easy to moderate. Assuming he fixed the problem BK found. Hmm. Nuts. Well, gonna have to get the dragon coins. And the key. But yeah, also my uh, script that uh, handles the moderation log, it pulls things like that, and so I think at least in one of them, it was yeah, like Spooky Jerry or something. Complete with a different color. Oh. But literally the best thing about Knuckles Chaotix. This track. Better speed sliders on one of the two. So peaceful. Was getting all the dragon coins a requirement? As a general rule, I like to try and get all the dragon coins to at least make sure that the dragon coins aren't placed in a bad position. Because it's really easy to mess this up for some reason. Um, but it's not. Just one of those things that I check. I will admit that moderation does have the same problems as, say, the, uh... Well, at least I know where it is now. Uh... Basically, property inspectors in San Francisco, where we're all kind of checking similar, but not always the same things. Which isn't ideal, I will admit. But basically, I'm looking for things that can be broken, and dragon coins can be broken surprisingly often. I used to run into cases where people would place them wrong, and you could collect them, like, multiple times a lot. I don't know if there's been, like, a... Why is it colored? Interesting. Oh, I wonder what's up with that. Yep, yeah, placing them on the boundary. I've been meaning to write, like, a tool to let people see that they've done that as opposed to not knowing that, like a linter for SMW stuff, but it's one of the myriad of random things I probably should do that have not been done. Some C3, probably not soon. But like, check all the midways. Every once in a while into the case where someone's midway is just flat out broken in a very disappointing way. I remember one that it would like just drop me into lava because the sprite platform that they were assuming would spawn did not spawn via the midway. Things like that.
and I check all the pipes. I try to check every door. I try to do most of these things. It's not 100%, of course, because I'm infall- I am not infallible. I am fallible. But it's a good faith effort. Nothing quite like an auto-scroller to make you wonder what you're doing with your time. slow auto-scroller with very little going on. And I lost my shell via a very predictable way of losing my shell. Even saw it was a blue one. Blue ones seem to have bigger feet than other Koopas. They've got like kicking boots or something. That's a saw. Oh man, that was dumb. On my part. So. Something got into the uh, Yellow Switch Palace, which is where the, uh, the bug is. I guess it still hasn't been accepted, so I should be checking for other stuff, but so far we haven't found anything. Oh, what's up, Super Friendo? How you doing? Doing some easy moderating today instead of the more difficult moderating I was doing yesterday. Or the day before. But I'm hoping you're having a good day. As with most days. Drop it like it's hot. And not give the blue Koopa a chance to kick it. Time to sleep? Alright. See you later, Zaplex. Hope you sleep well. That was cool. This is where the saw is, isn't it? I'm not gonna look away too much. My safe spot right here. That is spiky. Hmm. You know, I really wish I could have gone to the Red Switch Palace. I wonder where it was. Pretty long auto-scroller. Uh... I guess that's a door. Given this hack's uh, dislike, that was a minute and a half of time. Real time, by the way. So I'm pretty sure it started at uh, 400. This hack does not like midways, so I'm kind of hoping that there's one soon, even though we have yet to see one, like, at all. Right, alternate strat. Eh, nothing there yet. Arr. Much better. I really expected more of those. Okay, I guess this. Oh, I found a secret. I thought there had to be a secret there. It looked very secrety. And Resnor. It's almost like I fought Resnor before. Almost. It's nice to see my tech working. Okay. I'm gonna guess I missed the, uh, the other exit. 
or I didn't. What is it? Switch road. Huh. Try getting through here, Mario. You need all three switches to get through here. King Koopa. Or do I? Yeah, I probably do. It's true. Once or twice. That was the wrong way to go. So I'm going to guess that if I go down, it will take me to a pipe that will take me to the Red Switch Palace. That is my guess at this point in time. It certainly wasn't what I was going to guess based upon the world map as I saw it. Or not. Maybe I can't get to the Red Switch Palace? Yeah, alright, whatever. Figure that out later. <laughs> Watch out for the acid pools. They are very dangerous. I'm fairly certain I don't want to get into the green jello. It does appear, it does appear to kill footballs. Can't split the difference. You actually have to land on it. Music. Mario stars and escape from footballs. Hey, check this pipe. Nope. Check that pipe. Nope. Let's check alive. Intriguing. I guess I have multiple options for this. Almost like I know what I'm doing. Almost. Okay, that doesn't count. That was pleasant. It's got a very vanilla style, this hack. Very pleasant vanilla style. Okay, not that pipe. Once again, it gives me multiple options. Once again, only one of them goes anywhere. This is working. One bop, two bop. over now. I had to make a guess. Twenty-seven, which is not enough to actually get into the bonus room. So, alas. I want to check to see if there's consistency with the uh, naming of the first Eric. I just sworn it was like one and then used Roman numerals. Aha! Something down there. Damp dugout? What? That's something I should be aware of. What is a damp dugout? Aside from something I don't imagine most baseball players want to be in. I have no idea what that procced. 
probably should have held on to it a bit longer, I suppose. Because usually when it comes to P-switches, I hold on to them for too long, and they're not very useful. No, no, but it's the uh, music's name. Oh, okay. It's as good of a name as any, I suppose, for any given piece. see all the dragon coins. It's gonna help out with this. Oh. One pixel away, once again. Always gotta play it on the edge. Composed for... A-P-F-A-S. Do you think it's your favorite from that hack? What is that one? What does that acronym stand for? I am probably not gonna guess it. Unless it's like a route. Oh, I wall clipped. A perfectly fine action sprite. Either way, I got all the dragon coins, so I'm not to worry about that. A plumber for all seasons, thank you. I played it and I forgot that was the acronym. feel slightly embarrassed now. That's the last. That was a really good hack. Plumber for all seasons. I don't play hacks for the for uh, the purposes of not moderating very often, but that one was totally worth it. I guess occasionally I get recommended something that's just too good not to play. Hit that jump. Laura suggested there was a C3 demo, extra Mario Bros or something like that, and it was just so good. That, one, that particular hack, I am looking very forward to it coming out properly. Like a million years from now, whenever. And like, they're definitely doing cool stuff. thing. It have some backgrounds a bit like uh, Plumber for All Seasons, which is why it comes to mind. Those Plumber for All Seasons back parallax backgrounds are basically unbeatable at SFW hacking. It's insane how good those are. This level has two exits. I have all the dragon coins. I hate that zoop, uh, that, that bat. That zoo bat. Oh yeah, that's, that parallax is so damn good. The fact that it even works on console with no complaints is just truly a testament to the amount of effort that uh, I think it was White Yoshi Egg put into it. Man can code. Alright. I still have no idea what this Tang switch is for. I understand what that dang switch is for now. We'll be back shortly to get that moon, because I want that moon. And nothing has changed. Just the way I like it. Hey, we'll get back here. And not a one-up was one. Alright, so I think I know what to do to get that that moon, so I'm gonna go do it, because I want that moon.
I hope you should have read the readme to see exactly what's in this hack. But I know what to do now. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Most of the battle. Haunted Heavens, Polish all levels, Switch Palaces are now different colors. That's important. New bosses, fixed pipe glitch on the overworld. New title and welcome screens. Alright. He changed the Switch colors, which is a bit disconcerting given that the uh, thing that I was most worried about has ha happens in the Yellow Switch Palace. I have no idea what Switch Palace it happens in. Whatever. The battle. 50% knowing. 25% red lasers, 25% blue lasers. You know, the funny thing is, I've never actually watched, like, the G.I. Joe cartoon outside of the, um, G.I. Joe PSA... What do you even call it? YouTube poop? I don't even know what to call it. The YouTube, uh, parodies. The, the PSA parodies. Mr. Bottom Massage Machine Goat! Etc. Or Pork, so pork Chop Sandwiches, is, I suppose, the most famous one. What I like about this auto scroller? There are no fishing boos in it. Yet. There's no fishing boos yet. Shouldn't like jinx it or anything. I think I wouldn't forget that after a hack that immediately demanded of me that, that of me. Shoutouts to Daiso! And No Name was actually a lot of fun. Guess I don't also do too much in the way of, like, random Kaizo stuff. That kind of straddled the line. A classic hard slash beginner Kaizo hack. with some fun cheese that I found. Oh, for fuck's sake. I need to stop messing around in auto-scrollers. <laughs> so the man who needs to stop messing around in auto-scrollers. Let's see, what else did I get up to this weekend? Hung out with Fisk a bit. A bit. Hung out with uh, Snyder a bit, too. We wanted to play an FMV game. We tried out Police Quest 4, which was interesting. It's very much a game of its time. Uh, but, you know, I kind of miss that aesthetic of, like, photocopied pictures of people in video games. Doesn't seem to happen very often anymore. Might be for the best. Also, there were no FMVs yet, despite the fact that it is classed in several places as an FMV game. I don't think the intro wasn't even FMV. Which at least, you know, both Phantasmagorias were. Here we are, we're back roughly to where I died. Roughly. Yeah, I was telling my... My mom called while I was doing some Windows 98 stuff and was like, What do you... Why do you have a Windows 98 machine? What do you play on that? Like, oh, Sierra games. You know, that kind of thing.
Wait. Oh, that was one of my smarter moves. Interesting. I didn't realize you could do both of those at the same time. I wonder if that's like a frame perfect thing or not. There we go. That's all of the dragon coins. No. I guess I should have seen if uh, the scroll does something weird when I get to the end. I could kind of milk it for that, but I think yeah, level end, so it doesn't matter. Indescribably sm small percent luck. Yeah. I don't know if G.I. Joe would see it that way. I did see the G.I. Joe movie, and in fact ended up watching a good chunk of it. I guess last time I was in Vegas, man. It's been a long time since I've been in Vegas. Uh, I got lost in Bellagio and wanted to charge my phone and found effectively a babysitting room slash arcade room. And so I got my phone charged while I sat in the in that room and uh, watched the G.I. Joe movie. And I forgot how, like, fun bad that movie is. Really, the thing that describes that movie the best is the fact that um, the villain's ice fortress start, starts sinking at the very end of the movie. It's not a smart movie. It is a fun movie. It's not a smart movie. Oh, thank you for the good luck, TJB. How you doing? Um. Really should remember where the power-ups are. It would make my life a lot easier. But I do not do this. I'm so glad I didn't die there again. That would have been embarrassing. Nope! I wasn't expecting saws. Alright, is it gonna be Resnor? It's Resnor. Nope, I was wrong. This is a uh, Wendy fight. A, I believe a vanilla Wendy fight, too. Like, this is just straight up Wendy. There we go. Simple and easy. Simple and clean. That's how I should have phrased that. Which does remind me, when I was playing Sonic Adventure, I looked it up. I think that was the seventh most modern game I played. In part because I played a lot of Kingdom Hearts games on stream a few years ago. Right, yellow Switch Pass. Alright, gotta read. The note. In Yellow Switch Palace, if you grab the star and let it run out, the SNES sound processor, cross the processor crashes. And all music and sound effects stop. Then after hitting the Yellow Switch, instead of going back to the overworld, the game crashes. This is reproducible. Okay. So I'm going to sit here and let it run out. And see if the audio crashes first. It does not. Um, and I'm going to die. Actually, no, I don't need to die because we waited for it to run out and nothing bad happened. So now we get the yellow switch and see if it crashes. That is a really long tube. Yeah! Great job! You've hit the yellow switch! Now yellow outlines are yellow blocks. Cape switch. Read! Or check switch read? I don't know what it said. I got a spin yump. I don't think I've ever gotten a spin yump before. Game did not crash. That's a good sign. Switch road. Ah, thank you. That is a good read on that. That's one of five. Or one of three. Let's go and look at the star place. Haunted Heavens. How many eggs to my app? I guess I need to go figure out how to get to the Red Switch Palace. It's at 11, this is 16 now. Welcome to Haunted Heavens. Can you get past the tricky levels? Guess we'll find out. Will I get annoyed by the Mark Yarrow Maker 
Ghost House music? We'll also find out. It's really weird to see these ghosts being a different kind of block. Hmm. Yeah, I can walk through that. Is that the solution? It feels like the solution. Yeah, the block is rounder. But it's an aesthetic thing, I assume he made that choice. It's very strange, though. That's just how the track plays out. Alright, so far this isn't much trickier than the previous levels. It has just as few power ups. fun with that. Oh, interesting. It even expects you to understand that mechanic. Crap. Yeah, guess I'm not getting that blue shell. Oh. Okay. I see how this is. Respawning Yuri's clearly a Kaizo hack. Valid point. Valid point. Ghost. Sky Ghost level. It is very diggable, I will not deny. Alright, big money, big money. You know, I almost did that right. Almost. Yep. Given the way this hack uses uh, dragon coins, since they're basically milestones, I basically threw away a non-trivial amount of effort there. And it's not like every level in this hack is a uh, is an ice level, so I don't even I don't even have that excuse. Every level in the Marissa World hack is a ice level. I don't know why. At least it feels that way. But also, like, this is a fairly short level. I'm basically caught up to where I was. Nope. There we go. No longer rip big. And... A P-switch. Okay, what do I want to do with the P-switch? Oh. I imagine... Oh, that's how you were supposed to get the, the dragon coin. <laughs> I made that harder than it needed to be. Oh, for fuck's sake. Mistakes were made. Very, very silly mistakes were made. At least this ghost ring seems to spawn in a nice way. I definitely appreciate a fast retry more now. Any class of fast retry now, more now. You thought the eerie jump was suspicious? Yeah, it definitely kind of was. It was unnecessary. For the level of difficulty this has presented so far, which isn't a lot even though I keep dying. Yeah, that's enough, right? No! Yeah, I need to stop being dumb. Ah. 
delicious beverage. Tastes vaguely like red sand, I think. Look at that, I successfully jumped on a block. Good going, Mario. The cement who had its eyes visible? Oh, interesting. I'll have to go and check that. Just to see it. I don't think it's actually like, a moderation problem. This act's actually pretty clean so far. I found like one marker total. Careful movement. Way too many boos. There we go. It'll be coming big and again. So one thing's a little bit curious is when you hit this P-switch, that brown block down there becomes uh, a coin. And if I was going to hide something nice and secret, that is totally where I would hide it. So I remain dubious. Dying in difficulty or independence. That's slightly true, though I imagine there's an awful lot of correlation between difficulty and dying in general. Take a quick look into the boo. Just to see it. I'm curious now. Yeah, I can I can kinda see what you're saying. Definitely looks more like a petrified boo than the incredibly uh, square blocks of SMW. That's kind of cool. Alright. Something up there. Is it there? There's clearly something up there, so if I find a P-switch, that's where I want to take it. Mario Maker music. Come on, slightly rounded boo, let's go. I will check up there first. And then do the... Wait, I can use that boo to get over there, up there. That's what I need to do. Come on, boo. Let's go. Not sure what I need to do yet, but I want to go up here. A little bit lower. Okay, that's not really ideal. stand on the edge or something and he like rises continuously isn't that a thing all right yeah i think i can pull this off there's an easier way it's gonna like to stress this is probably not the intended solution but i'm so going for it Carefully. He rises. Come on, 
one more. Oh, there's nothing up there. <laughs> well, that was a fun thing to try. Gonna be honest, I was kind of torn anyway. But I jumped, tried jumping up there. It did not work. That would have been a cool place for a secret, but clearly that is not the intended solution. Ooh, I just got another life. I do not need to mess with him. Only bad flashbacks about that blue boss. Not required, but certainly speedier than doing it the right way. Down. All around. things going on here. Things that are totally within my comprehension. Oh, right, that's just a dragon coin. Okay. I'm gonna take the uh, spring with me, though. You never know when you might need a spring. Or a gremlin removes all of your other springs. Or you do that. Much better. About to say, I knew I'd need this thing. No, turns out I did not, in fact, know I needed that thing. There's another path. Clearly you're supposed to use the boo for that. I am not going to do that. Okay. Ooh. I think that's it. I'll take it. Nice and simple. Haunted Heavens 3. It's not a heavens that are being haunted. Oh boy. It's now midnight in the Haunted Heavens. Watch out for the ninji troops that lurk. Lurkers are always dangerous. Yeah, they're lurking, but not that badly. More plumber for all seasons music. Do you like the release uh, a music pack as part of a C3 release or something? Okay, I got lucky there. There's a spawner. Have to keep that in mind now. Okay, so... What's the logical way to get down there? There is no wall jumping. The authors he worked with uploaded to himself. So this one separately for sure. Oh, fair enough. I'm gonna get up for a short stretch break and turn off the light so I can see what I'm doing. I'll be right back.
All right, now I'll be able to see. I remain optimistic. The vision will be useful for this level. Um, and also, the pit I fell in was probably another P-switch thing that I just haven't found the P-switch for yet. Like, if you're trying to jump over the non-existent Ninji. Track reminds me of, like, Donkey Kong Country for some reason. That'd be the baseline. You know, maybe this thing right here that clearly screams P-Switch, maybe that's the P-Switch that I was promised. Damn you, Bullet Bill Spotter. Wouldn't it be kind of funny and evil would be like a pack of blocks of which one of them has a power-up in it? And the rest are coins and they kind of randomly switch which one is which. I assure you such a thing would confuse me during moderation for a non-trivial amount of time. Very groovy track, though. don't like lava lotuses. Never have and never will. But I'm running out of my lives in this one. I'm just be embarrassed at this point. Oh, anyway. Yeah. It's a little more exciting to report, but like I haven't really done anything since Thursday. Nothing of great grave importance. That beat Sonic Adventure. Yay. It's basically the, the biggest thing I've done in the last two days. Alright, there we go. Missing one? Is that really the second one? Am I so early into the level? So it also wasn't the first time I beat the Sonic Adventure, so... of the start so I can try again. you know what you're doing. What's up, Fedora? How you doing? There we go. Exactly what I wanted. Not die. Very low threshold, I'll be honest.
Marissa Adventure World, you can never leave. I don't believe Marissa Adventure World is Hotel California, but you not, may not, in fact, be entirely wrong. How are you doing, Faro? You are also watching SMW late on a Sunday night. That might, in fact, also make you a nerd. But I hear about your new movie. It's called My Son is a Nerd. He comes home from college, and I'm terrified to find out that he is a nerd. That sounds like a great comedy. It's not a comedy. Oh. Yep, we're playing modded Minecraft, little Galacticraft pack you put together. It's something I do not know anything about. Modded Minecraft is one of those things I just never, ever got into. It's probably something I would enjoy, but also in the same way that I enjoy Factorio, which is that I would play way too much of it, and then I would get sick of it and want to do something else in my life. Oh, come on! Gary Spawner, please. Anyway, how's the, uh, how's the level going, Faro? It's an accurate assessment. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's games I just don't play because I know that I cannot, in fact, not play them if I start playing them. No MMOs, no Civilization games, as much as it pains me, I love playing Civ. But I also like sleeping instead of listening to Sabaton at like 6am while I'm trying to conquer the, the entire world. Admittedly, listening to Sabaton is a good time, so you know, it's not the worst thing. Factoria was definitely in that list. Of things I just can't do. Oh, boo. Ow! Getting there, had an emotional pit today because your brain sucks, not so much got done. Fair enough. You're waiting for me to forget which hack you're playing and try to wall jump. Uh, you missed, you just barely missed me doing that earlier. I was like, oh, I wonder if there's wall jump in this. And the answer was no. No, there was not. I needed a P-switch to get that dragon coin. Guess after this, I just need to find the dang switch palace. And not get jumped through another wall. Big money, big money. Some careful jumps. Like that boo boss doesn't look difficult. Stupid door! Stupid eerie spawner. Super tired, just wanted to pop in and say, see what's up, say hi. Oh, nice! Well, thank you for coming by. If you're super tired, you probably should go to bed. It is already, like, hella late. Two and change here. A lot of change here. I always forget if Idaho is in a different time zone. It's in Mountain or not. You should go to bed, but you refuse. It's an option. You guys certainly know how that feels. One of those, I should probably try to straighten up my sleep schedule a bit. And have failed to do so for the last couple weeks. Kind of hoping I'll get it fixed by like next week. Maybe the dentist appointment will help with that. Had one on Monday and then realized, no, I have Monday off. We're not going to the damn dentist for that. Okay. 
not get tricked. Okay, gotta be careful. Bombs away! Oop. This is not what you're supposed to do, and I don't care. I've made my decision, but I stand by it. No egrets. Well, I'm glad I got the one up. Really glad I got the one up. I assume that was the right way to do it. Nope, nothing up there. Gotta mentally prepare myself. Yeah! Great job! You've hit the blue switch. Now, Lou outlines. Or, Lou blocks. Check switch road. Running a mega multi-world yesterday such that everyone was playing different games was great. Oh man, that sounds cool. Is it uh, using the uh, archipelago stuff? Because I know it supports like a shocking number of games. End up going on day because you had end up doing a run of a different games and some of you had to run a link to the past seed after that. Fair enough. Yeah, that's some tech I want to play with at some point when I find the energy to do so. It's probably more stable than some of the things I've built. Okay. Do I have 16 exits? Start with that first. 14. No. There have been no double exit levels, but Puddle Island clearly indicate, seems to indicate that it is, in fact, a multiple exit level. Like, am I missing something? Aside from banger knuckle tracks. Like, there's clearly a keyhole. I just don't know where the dang key is. Hmm. Satisfying. a little bit baffled still. Okay. This still feels like the place to find it, though. Maybe I can get over it without the red switch blocks? Kinda of wanted that shell. It's been a while since I've duped something, may as well do some duping. I can. There we go. with how that went. <laughs> I'm unhappy with how it's going. Um, I wonder if there's like a... There we go. That's cute, actually. No! Yes! Eat it, double fish! I'm out. 
A summon RPG would be a good game for a Capelgo. Get into those randos just for that reason alone. I mean, I think the rando itself is actually pretty fun, but anything I'd want to do vis-a-vis -vis messing with the rando, I'm gonna would want to wait for Pidge to finish up her 3.0. There's too much code churn to want to touch it. Oh, that's how you get that one move. That's really cute. <laughs> Irritating, but cute. Alright. This would be the day. Three for three! Holy shit! Great job! You've hit the red switch! Now the red outlines are red blocks. Man, I'm feeling good about that. Uh, Archipelago is a framework for make making multi-world randomizers. Or multi-world uh, games in general. Um, if I was aware of it when I was making the SMRPG thing, I probably would have used it, but I was not. So, because of that, I didn't. All right. Hey, this is the end of the demo for now. I'll try and have an update soon. Lamau. So can I have, like, cleared one of these block sets without... Nope, definitely not. Oh, no, you're not gonna do that. I, I can make it over that. I cannot, in fact, make it over that. I'll try again. He is taunting me. Um, I guess I didn't find any capes in this hack, which is another reason why it was so easy to moderate. So I'm gonna guess this is the end. Because I can't get over that wall. Um, six tile, that's a good question. Um, one, two, three, four, five, it looks like it's six. but I feel like I am doing the maximal amount of jump that is possible without cape or something else. I'm gonna guess that that's about as good as it gets. But, uh, but yeah, I, I don't think that there's anything really wrong with this hack. I'll claim and look at the two quick notes I found, but otherwise I'll probably just, like, Press OK on it in the morning. Anything else in the list that needs looking at? Uh, all right, we're gonna look at Tio's horrible hack. Cause why not? Thank you for the GG. It is a bit disconcerting that it's actually only 15 exits. I don't think I missed one. Or no, it is actually 16 exits. Never mind. Oh right, cause there were two. There was the way to the Switch Palace and the Switch Palace itself. I'm going to be honest.